Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to bring you something a little bit special. This isn't a trailer we get in every day. Uh, these are very rare to get in on trade. So if you are looking for a used show cattle trailer with air ride suspension, we have a 2018 Cimarron Steerwalt. It is a 30 foot trailer. It is 8 foot wide, 6 4 tall, and it has a 9 foot nose on it. So again, it is a used 2018 air ride. Again, we do not get these trailers in very often. And before we really get into the guts of this trailer, one thing that we'll talk about a little bit as we get into the stall area, but I wanna show you this before, before we lose the opportunity to show it to you. So as you can see here on this top rail, you know, it's a cool morning here in Colorado. You can see this frost on this top rail. So anytime you have these aluminum pieces, any type of metal, you know, they conduct a lot of heat. And, and what we're doing is we're getting this sun to beat down on it. And as you can see this frost right here in just this section, as you look down, it's already burnt off this frost kind of down the rest of the trailer. But on these Cimarron's, they come standard with an insulated roof. And we've heard it time and time again, people go, well, how, how well does that insulated roof really work? But what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you this before we lost the opportunity. So again, you see that frost and it's burning off fast. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crawl up on this ladder and I'm gonna show you what the roof looks like on this trailer right now. So again, we basically have burned off the side. As you can see, this entire roof is still covered in frost and it will remain this way for quite some time. So this is just a good view for you and a good example of what these insulated roofs can do. And we'll talk a little bit more about it when I get into the stall area. But the opportunity presented itself to show it to you guys. So we wanted to go ahead and take it and and show it to you. So now that we've looked at that, now let's get into the fun part of actually looking at this trailer and how it was optioned. So we sold this trailer when it was brand new. So there's some things that we did back then were very new and innovative. We continue to try to improve these trailers as much as we can, try to make them as user friendly as possible. So like I mentioned, when we were looking at the drawing, this is a nine foot nose. And the reason why it's a nine foot nose compared to the standard 8.2 is this roll up door right here. When we put this roll up door with the extended floor, we want you to be able to back a truck up underneath here and still have room to operate. We don't want to cram our tailgate right up against this or potentially damage this roll up door. So Cimarron's did a, done a really good job at, at taking it and expanding this nose, making it a little bit longer, giving us the ability to work in here. Uh, so if you are hooked up to a pickup and you need to get into something as you're in transit or as it's parked, getting into it, it's a lot easier, a lot user friendly. And we've done some things to it in here for that reason. Normally this spare is located on the left side of this hydraulic jack that we have here. But this is one of the first ones that we actually moved it to the right hand side. And the reason why is we thought with this battery box spare over there, air ride that I'll show you over here in a second, but we felt like let's come up with something a little bit creative. We understand we're hauling a lot of stuff. So we moved the spare over. At this time we used the bridle hooks that were used on, on horse trailers. But we understand that you know, you're hauling hoses, you're hauling extension cords. It gives you a good opportunity to hang some stuff. This is a really good place right here with that floor to go ahead and put maybe a, a, a ramp, some tools for changing, you know, if you do have a flat tire, any little miscellaneous tools that you wanna carry with you. Uh, and again, it's gonna be protected with this roll up door. We also put underneath this gooseneck 
an LED awning strip light. So this is a 16 inch awning light. This is what we put on each side of the trailer as well. But what's really interesting about this is, is when this is down and you go to back up underneath this at nighttime, you know, our cargo light's usually blocked up there by the front of the trailer. This awning light actually reflects off of this and almost lights up the back of, you know, this area as you're getting hooked up in the dark and the bed of your pickup. So nobody likes messing around with stuff when in the dark. So this just gives you a little bit more coverage as far as light goes. I touched on it a second uh, ago on that, but that is an electric over hydraulic jack. It's very responsive. So, so easy on these bigger trailers to push a button and up and down it goes. We like to take it a step further and put the manual pump jack on here as well. So that is an override. So if you get an emergency, battery's dead, anything like that, we can get this trailer up and down. Battery box for the battery for the jack and also our air ride. So we talked that about this trailer being equipped with air ride. This is the onboard compressor. So it's not like you have to be pulling air from a truck or anything like that. This has an onboard built on compressor. So very, very simple to use. When you're going down the road, you turn it on. That's what our red indicator light over there is for. And then we roll this knob to the raised position and it literally picks the trailer up and you go down the road. When you're pulling this trailer, you want that air ride on, just go. It is equipped with Dexter rubber torsion axles with this air ride system. So if something does happen to our air ride system, compressor issue, anything with lines, anything with bags where we're losing air pressure, it'll sit down on those, those axles and you can still get down the road. The older systems, you were stuck. You couldn't go anywhere, but they've, they've really done some, some good things some taken some good precautionary steps to where we can still get down the road where we want to. But this here is a game changer. We'll talk a little bit more about that because that's what really, really sells this trailer. We do not, on these Steerwalt trailers for inventory, these big ones, we do not order them without that air ride suspension. Everybody in the industry understands the importance and then also the benefits of it. And we'll, you talk to a customer that owns one of these and I will tell you almost one of the first things that will come out of their mouth is they'll never own another one without air ride. On this one here, we did a five foot front tack. We did a fold down ramp on driver side and then a man door here on passenger side. So we understand that you're gonna be loading big upright show boxes, fan carts, generators, anything like that. So it makes it so much easier than from us standing right here, lifting that stuff up and over this whole area into this front tack room, we've got that ramp. So now we can run that equipment right up. Just makes it a lot easier. And we understand a lot of families, you know, maybe have some smaller kids getting started. Um, you know, these, the way that these trailers are set up, it's just a lot more user friendly for everybody for that reason. On this door over here, we put a step for you. So it's a lot easier transition as you're going in and out of these trailers. In today's time with a lot of shows where you're showing off the trailer, you know, you're gonna be bouncing in and out of these. So just try to make it a little bit, you know, user friendly as possible. Here on this wall, we carpeted the entire partition wall. You'll see this airliner track that goes the full width across. This airliner track, you've got these hooks and these are adjustable so you can move them wherever you want. But this is another good opportunity for you to, to place your equipment where you want it, strap it down so it's not gonna go anywhere. Now you are dealing with an air ride trailer, so things aren't gonna move like they normally would on a, just a standard rubber torsion. But this is a good way to sec secure anything if you want as you're going down the road. More hooks here on this wall. And then this tray up above, that is actually for our plexiglass that we have in the, uh, the air gaps on this trailer. A good thing to carry is a roll of masking tape and a Sharpie. And the reason why is if I wanna take the plexiglass out of this trailer, I'm gonna do it in stages. First stage I'm gonna do is, say I'm gonna take driver's side up or out. I take all those pieces out, I tape them together and I write that on there and then I store them in here. And then I continue to work through the different air gaps. But that way when you go to, when you go to put all that plexiglass back in this trailer, 
it's just very simple it's not a it's not a puzzle that I got to put back together where I put all this in and oh man I need this short piece well where's that short piece or where's that long piece I know that these pieces will fill up the upper driver side gap so that's a good thing to carry in this and plus it's this is a good place for storage it's up out of the way we're not having it up here on the deck where we're going to be throwing more equipment potential of damaging that plexiglass so up here in the neck it's very very standard with it being extended this is a deep deep neck because again remember this is nine foot compared to the eight two that is standard and that's because that roll up door but you also have a fold down gate here it's got the aluminum making sure smaller items don't slide back as you're in transit and then we put a 12 inch boot box comes about halfway across this trailer this is a good place for little miscellaneous items that want to bounce around um, just keeps everything nice and tidy and and where it should where it should be and not cluttering up this whole tack area and it is a nice little step if you do need to hop into that that gooseneck area there so then we have the standard side ramp that goes into the stall area now right now we have this trailer aired up so our angles of our ramps are a little bit steeper so when you're loading equipment when you're loading cattle on this or offloading we we recommend going ahead and dumping the air out of it and the reason why is it'll lower this trailer about two and a half inches so when we lower it two and a half inches those ramps won't have quite as steep of an angle so it is a lot better for you getting equipment in and out and then also not as steep for the cattle getting on and off these ramps there's another one of those load lights just like i showed you underneath the the gooseneck there and then you get into the stall area again this when when we built this trailer brand new at the time this is where we started really incorporating a lot of the two traveling gate systems um, up to that point we used to have a fixed gate 93 off the back of these trailers and 93 it sounds like an odd measurement but the reason why is because we can put an eight foot blocking chute wheels and handles behind that gate and it'll and the rear gate will shut but then we we're that gate being fixed there was nothing we could do it was it lived where it was to where a lot of guys said hey i want the ability to manipulate and set my stall sizes all i want so that's where we started really incorporating a lot of the two traveling gate systems so track comes off the roof we ran this one four foot off the back so these two gates we can slide them up back anywhere we want we can set them about a foot apart i mean that's where these these upright posts are there's one foot so we can really manipulate the stall sizes all we want this one here this rear one is a 48 inch swing with no threshold that was really becoming popular at that time you know it's nice and easy for cattle not to have to step over that threshold we understand we're going to be bedding but you know just something that they could possibly trip over uh, so Simron was able to go in and beef these up to where we didn't have to have a threshold now in the drawing that we showed you earlier when we first built this trailer we built it with two traveling gates with sliders but the customer wanted a 48 inch swing on the back so we change it so on the drawing you'll see two sliders but it is equipped with a 48 inch swing and then we have a slider up front as well and it's a no threshold gate as well so again cattle don't have to a lot of it's kind of just more of a, a personal preference for some customers on which which styles or if they want to have one of each or two of of one style but what's really nice about this is i can take both these gates and shove them up against this partition wall have one big open space right now we've got the gate set kind of at the wheel well so we have two and then if i want to incorporate the other one i just un unattach from its storage position and this trailer we're kind of we're kind of tilted towards the the passenger side and then a little bit to the back so what i'm going to do is is once this gate starts again i'm not touching it as long as it's balanced man it rolls and it's so easy to use some other um, 
movable gate systems are a lot trickier. They've got rails that come off of the, the sidewall. You have to be exactly, you know, perfectly even when you go or it, it'll kind of want to bind up on you. Um, and since this, ha this comes off the, the roof, you know, I don't have to have a rail come across any openings. So off of our access door or over the side ramp. But again, just very easy to use. So you can imagine, you know, younger kids, um, anybody like that, if we need to adjust these, it can easily be done. We actually build them up a little bit taller off of the floor because we understand you're gonna bed pretty deep in here. But again, we can set these anywhere we want. You know, if you're traveling with a cow-calf pair, you wanna separate them off. If you're traveling with a bull, and then maybe some, some heifers, you want to separate him off from them, you can do it when you have these two traveling gate systems. Again, you, we can manipulate these stalls any way we want. We have two-way roof vents, so we can manipulate airflow, we can force air down, we can create a vacuum through here. Uh, if we need to release, you know, as body heat builds up, uh, we need to release some of that. We can pop the vents the other way. As heat rises, it'll go out, the, out of this trailer. Now, when these trailers were first designed, they were 6'8 tall, and we ended up going to 6'4 tall. And one of the reasons why is because Kurt, he wanted to get that heat away from the cattle, and he understood it, that heat rises. But then when he found out how well this insulated roof works and how cool it keeps this stall area compared to an aluminum sheeted roof, we could cut down on the height a little bit. So we got down to 6'4". If you put a tape measure and you go dead center, you know, it's about, it's gonna be about 6'5", is what it's gonna be um, to the actual roof and not so much the cross member there. But again, with having this insulated roof, you know, I showed you up top on what it's doing with the frost, but you can imagine 95 degrees, you know, as you're traveling, hot summer months, humidity, boy, this is gonna keep those cattle so much cooler. You know, usually we've got them underneath fans, got them in cool rooms. We wanna keep them as cool as we can going to the show. That is a big, big benefit on these Cimarron's as well. And then that air ride suspension, we've touched on it a little bit, but you have to understand that your cattle are almost gonna lay down like they're in the barn. We have heard customers say that their cattle will lay down. Um, one of the best examples was that Kurt, when they came up to uh, stock show the first year with their air ride trailer, they would leave Oklahoma 50 pounds heavy because that's where they kind of figured that calf would lose to hit that target weight. And what I was told is that calf lost five pounds. I mean, the stress level was completely down. He laid down in here. I mean, it is a big difference when you get into these air ride trailers and what it does for your cattle. They step off this trailer fresh their feet and legs underneath them. You know, we're not getting that jarring to the joints. Um, you know, your, your amount of lead time that you need to go to a show can be cut down. So you're actually saving some expense there. You know, if you think about all the food and hotel and anything like that for extra days, if we can cut down on the front end a couple days, you know, it'll save you. And you over the life of this trailer, I mean, you might pay for your air ride just in that alone. But think about the time and the money that we spend on these animals we want to give them every opportunity we can for them to get into the show ring and compete and be fresh. And these air ride trailers will definitely help you meet those goals. So here on the exterior, here's those two upper air gaps with plexiglass. Like I was telling you, we can slide those out. And then you have a lower third air gap with Plexi as well. So you have, you're dealing with three different air gaps per side. So that's why it's really important to be able to just keep things together, know where they're going. That's why it's important to label them when, you're, when you are storing them. You have high and low tie rails on the outside on both sides of this trailer. So we have it on driver's side and passenger, which is kind of nice because at a lot of shows, at times you'll tie out at night actually at the trailer and depending on how you have to park where's the sun setting let's try to keep the cattle in in the shade if possible so having you know these tie rails on the outside on both sides you have that ability to do that on this one at the time now on the 22 models the button lights are going to be standard but these were an upgrade at the time on this one so you see the smaller led marker lights the button style 
They are really bright at night. We put quite a few on this. This trailer looks really cool at night when it's lit up because of that. 17 five inch aluminum wheels with 16 ply tires. These are original tires on this. They are not out of date. We look at the date code based on the sidewall. If they're older than five years of age, we replace them. If we have bad wear, if they're mismatched, we will replace these tires on these used trailers. The other thing we do on these used trailers, we go through this trailer. We have a technician that goes through, checks everything out, gives us a list, then we check them off. Some of the things that are automatic is this trailer's been realigned. Every one of these used trailers is realigned. And on our newer trailers, the bigger trailers and all air rider are put on that alignment machine as well. And that really makes a difference on how well these trailers go down the road. Our window is tighter than they are when, when they leave the factory or when, when Dexter sends the axles down. But we understand the importance of you running down the road and running down the road straight. Uh, They're no different than passenger vehicles. So if you hit curbs, you know, rough roads can knock one of these trailers out of alignment, which is gonna cause weird tire wear, potential blowouts for you going down the road. Um, so you do need to do this every now and then, even on your used trailers, but we can do that here at Trans West. This is a polished trailer. You citrus wash these, you know, this is used, so it's gonna have, you know, it's not quite as shiny and bright as it was the first day that we got it, but as you can see, it still looks pretty sharp. You have the inlay back here. They had their farm logo on a sticker. We peeled that off so you can put a brand in there. You can put a farm sticker, anything like that you want in there. Some people joke around that this is a mirror for their mini Herefords to check themselves out before they go to the show ring. The back of this trailer, you have a swing with a slider. You also have additional load lights, the eight inch awning lights at the back here. And then you have all these switches. So all these lights are individual. So stall lights each side and then the back are all individual. And I mispointed out, but over the side ramp on the inside of this trailer is we put additional switches up there to run some of those stall lights and then the load lights on the, on the passenger side. We understand you're gonna be loading off, loading off that side ramp. So maybe it's not as convenient to come around to the back. So we put those additional switches up there for you. So it's a lot easier to just step in that trailer and turn them on. Over here on driver's side, again, you'll notice another 16 inch awning light, kind of right above the wheel wells. And then there's another one between the ramp and then this access door going into the stall area. So again, a lot of, got a lot of good light coverage here. And then here's our ramp going into the tack room. Again, for that equipment going in and out, it's really nice. Again, we would lower this down, uh, get the air out of the bags and lower it to two and a half inches so everything's not quite as steep on these ramps. It's got the black skin. Now they had some farm stickers up here on the nose as well. If you get at it in the right angle and the right lighting, you will kind of see the outline of it. Uh, you know, maybe you go in and put, you know, your farm logo or something like that lettering on there. There's a little scuff right there where they kind of chip the paint a little bit. And before I show you the stock number, I'll show you, because it is a, it is a used trailer, we try to make them as ready for you to go and use them as possible. But we understand that things do happen. There are some dings and dents on some of these trailers. Looks like they kind of got into something, just kind of scuffed it up a little bit here, kind of by the tack room, a little bit on the ramp. So we want to be as up front, up front and straight with you on, on how the trailer is. We like to when we're talking to customers, go out to these used trailers and say, hey, I'm gonna walk out, I'm gonna get you up close pictures, any dings and dents. If we are dealing, uh, you know, if you're out of state, don't have the opportunity to come and put your eyes on it right away yourself. That's what's also nice about these videos is we can do a video walk around and show you these trailers. So if you are interested in this trailer, again, we do not get these used air ride trailers in very often. 
It is a 2018 Cimarron Steerwalt. It is a 30 foot air ride, 5U 210080. If you miss out on this one, we don't expect this one to stick around long. We do have some new ones on order as well, some 21s and 22s coming. So we can visit with you about those. We try to kind of keep some different options available. But I can tell you, if you are looking for some savings and an air ride cattle trailer, again, these do not come up very often. They go pretty fast. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. 301-336-1400.